Well, this is the Rally A35 after it's been stripped down. So I've taken the wings off and doors off and the grill and bumper on the front uh, so I can get stuck in with the uh, internals under the bonnet and in the inner wings. Um, the car is in exceptionally good condition. Um, very little rust on it. Um, some minor bits and pieces. I mean, there's a little, little bit down there, but that's where they normally rot out. The other side is absolutely perfect. So it's it's been repaired before, but why wouldn't it have been? I mean, 60, 70 years old now. So, all stripped down there. I'm quite pleased with it. Got got all the bolts out of this side, but the others had to be drilled off on the other side. And the plan will be to, I'm gonna strip all the suspension off a bit as well. Get it up in the air, strip all the suspension off. Because I've got to investigate how this all works because there doesn't seem to be enough bolts in it to hold it all on. But um, I'm gonna try and use all that again. Um, see how it all works. So um, I am genuinely pretty pleased. The, wi the wings are good, doors are good. Um, it's got some filler in the wings, but so what? And uh, and the badge is all off safely as well. So all in all, very good. The dashboard will be coming out shortly because it's got too many holes in it, some of which will be reused again and some of which will not be used again. And also this one needs, it's got too many holes in it, the lower dash. Um, so the interior is now empty, stripped out, um, but it's got like sound deadening, modern sound deadening has been applied to the floor and I think we need to see what's underneath there before uh, we get too excited. Also, it's got all this glue left on it. So it's gonna be out with the heat gun and the blow torch to remove all that. Uh, the, the floors are good. It's no problem at all with them. Look at those seals, inner seals and that. It's nice. It's all good, good, good. So we'll crack on with this interior see what we can get done over the next uh, hour or few to try and reveal the original floor from underneath there. Um, so let's see what happens now. Well, I've removed the sound deadening from both front footwells um, and as expected, there is something underneath there. It's, it's had a plate on there already and um, it's not been finished very nicely where it joins the sill up there, but I think my plan is to probably re-weld that bit that's already in there and then make a channel section just to run along there to join the floor to the sill and make it nice and straight. This is the original floor there. That's your original 60. 70 year old floor now around this side um well that looks better there is we've got a little hole down here as you can see my finger underneath there so it does need a little bit of work there so what i'll probably do is get the heat gun underneath and scrape off the under seal to see if there's anything else that i can't see but in reality it, it's not that bad um What's going on here? What's happening here? Glue. That's what's happening there. So, yeah, I mean, yes, it's got that plate on the floor. Well, okay. We can soon deal with that. And, uh, well, that's good. I've been welding up the holes um, in various places on the car. Um, fair bit of filler in the back panel for some reason, but... I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. So I welded those up. Now the floor's been welded up in the hole. So there was, so I've made a plate and fitted that in there. And that side over there, it was all gappy. It's all welded. And what I do, I 
use this uh, special seam sealer and it, it every all the all the lines just disappear it's amazing my plan for the interior so i've taken all the dash out and stuff now as well is to uh the the parts of the car that are going to have loose carpet on it so the floors um i'm taking them right back to bare metal on both sides the gearbox tunnel this bit and this section here which will have carpet glued to it I'm not going to get too fancy about but then once the floors are all stripped back and smooth um, before it goes together I'll be spraying it with a product called Raptor which is uh, I can color it um, it's like a stone chip really really hard stone chip but you can make it the same color as the car so what it will be, it will be Speedwell Blue. So when you look on, on the floors underneath the carpets inside and in all the back here, it will all, it will all be uh, stone chip blue. Obviously the smooth bits of metal will be smooth blue all around the edges, but um, it, it just makes the floors look so much better. So we get rid of all this horrible lumpy under seal shit that's been sprayed on and then it'll all end up nice and smooth like proper floor when it's finished which that side isn't finished yet but uh, it will be soon so it's all good coming along nicely the interior floor is just about prepared now for the next stage i must admit i did get a bit carried away and the original plan was just to tidy it up a bit but I ended up taking all the under seal off all the front section and even up into the wheel arches and uh, on both sides and all the tunnel so that's all bare metal it just needs a little bit of fine finishing off with a rotary wire wheel now and then I'm gonna seam sealer it round all the edges round all these little gaps here um got to make some aluminium plates to cover up the holes there where the brake cylinder used to be and the for when it's a left-hand drive car but i'll make two identical ones and then i have a little aluminium plate there that covers where the pedals came through the floor because they'll be no longer there um a little bit of welding to do some holes in this lower dash rail um, but yeah that's a really rubbishy bit of work done and out of the way oh, I've put an aluminium plate over where the handbrake used to come through as well so it'll all look nice and neat then once the final bit of rubbing down's done on the floor I can um, spray it with the colour coded stone chip and then it'll really look smart 